There's some new stuff in the auto input actions v2 action that I wanted to show you. Let's see what stuff it has. First off, use the helper. And now you can see all of these actions that you can um, use with this helper and with this action. So you, let me just uh, quickly describe each of them. So you can click. You can do multiple multiple types of clicks, long click, you click your duration. Click put duration is just a long click, but where you select the duration you want to click. Multi-click, uh, like uh, double clicking, triple clicking, etc. Click all when you want to click all of the elements on the screen with the same value. You can swipe, so swipe left, swipe right, swipe up, swipe down. You can pinch, like when you do when you zoom to pinch with two fingers you can do that you can set the text of an input box or you can append append text to to an existing text or you can paste whatever is on your clipboard then when you set the text of an input you can submit the input like when you press enter on your keyboard you can open apps wait you can press back you can back out of the uh, all of the way out of an app or wait for an element to appear on the screen so currently all of these actions are available for you to use so let's uh, do a small example for example let's open uh, an app let's open Google Play click here then search for something for an app name for example tasker then submit it and then you look at this app page and then go back at the uh, for to the screen you were before. This is just a simple example. So let's use the, ha the helper. So first off, let's open the app store, Google Play Store. Let's say yes, so we can follow along. And now I want to add more actions. I want to click and I want to automatically find the element, so I want to click this search bo box here, element, and I want to click whatever it says, search for apps and games, which is this search bo uh, box here. Click this, and I could specify a nearby text, but in this case, I'll just use the first bound, and let's try clicking it, and it works. So next off, we want to set the text of this input. So set text, find, position it here. You notice that if I position this too much to the left or too much to the right, it automatically toggles it, uh, toggles the side of it. So it's easier to use. So use this one. And now you have a new item here in this item select screen where you see that if uh, uh, an element is focusable, uh, which means that you can click on it so it has that, um, that place where you can enter text, so it's focusable, it shows true here. So let's click here, and then you can use this element by focus. So whenever any element has focus, it will use the action, which was set text on that element. So let's select this. You could, use, you could also use text, uh, because this text box has search for apps and games on it. I could also use this, but this just sets, that makes it do wherever the element, which, on whichever element has focus. I want to search for tasker. Okay. And let's try it if it works. Okay. And now let's add one more action. As you can see, the text was entered but it was not submitted so it didn't actually search for the app so let's submit the text now submit input find use this input here and again let's do it by focus and yes as you can see it automatically uh, uh, submitted the text and it showed the details of the app. Want to add more actions? Yes. Now let's let the user uh, look at that page for a bit. So let's wait 
five seconds, for example. I don't want to test it because I don't want to test waiting for five seconds. And yes, I want to add more actions. And let's just back out of the app. And as, it, as you can see, it returned to the screen you were on before. I don't want to add more actions. I'm done. And let's see if it works. See how quickly it did that? Then it stays here for five seconds. And then it backs out of the app. So it works. And now with a simple change, you can make this work for any app by, for example, using a variable here, here called app. And then here, defining that variable, for example, with auto apps. And now instead of tasker, it will search for auto apps and show the same screen and then go back after five seconds. So this is cool. Now you can perform all of this with one simple action. I just also wanted to show you the pinch because it's a new thing I've added. So let's replace all of this with a simple pinch and let's find it. Um, let's go to the browser and here let's select the element. And again, it seems that this image is focusable, so let's use that. And then, uh, yeah, let's use the when the element has focus, and let's pinch in or pinch out. We want to zoom in, so let's pinch out. How many pixels? Yeah, that's okay. Let's just see if it works. Okay, it worked. I don't want to add any more actions. Go back to Tasker. And uh, now because I, I wanted to pinch, in, uh, to pinch, I probably need to add a little weight before. I could add the weight in the auto input action as well, but I can also add it here before doing that because uh, otherwise it could pinch out on any other element that's, that has focus. So let's do this, and as you can see, it pinched it a little bit. It was already fo uh, almost all zoomed in, so I didn't notice it too much. Uh, now you see it better. So these are the new auto input actions. As you can see, you have a lot to play with here, and I can even add more if needed. These are all the relevant, one, the relevant ones I found for now. So, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.